I was just talking about the various features of the savings bank account and well there are several features which are beneficial to the customer. There is one feature which is overlooked by many customers but which is a very detrimental feature, very bad feature in so far as the customer is concerned. This in fact I would call it as the villain among the various rules for savings bank and current account. This villain's name is minimum balance stipulation. Every bank has stipulated some certain minimum balance should be maintained in the account. They have put this in their website. And when you go and open the deposit, uh, savings bank deposit schemes, eh, maybe nobody will tell or they will just take out one big uh, rule book and give it to you, which you may not read. You don't have the time to read. Simply you sign, um, you sign the paper on dotted lines and then you open the savings bank account. What is this minimum balance stipulation? Every bank has stipulated, especially private sector banks, eh, this stipulation is very rigorous. For example, ICICI Bank has stipulated every metro or urban branches you should keep a minimum deposit of 10,000 and in the case of semi-urban areas the minimum deposit is 5,000. In the case of rural areas it is 2,000. This is more or less the same for many of the private sector banks. Now what happens is many persons don't know especially in urban areas people do go and open an account by paying a deposit of some 15,000 or 20,000 rupees and in case of need they go and draw 6,000 or 7,000 by which the minimum balance will come down. Now banks have gone one step ahead and they have started stipulating minimum balance minimum average monthly balance monthly average minimum balance. Almost all the private sector banks have started uh, stipulating monthly average minimum balance. There was one friend of mine who was uh, keeping some 7000 rupees in fixed deposit. He had some 11,000 or 12,000 rupees he withdrew and uh, the balance came down to 7000 rupees. This happened about uh, 7, 8 years back, 6 years back. It was with your one private sector bank. And this bank had charged 7, in those days they had charged 750 rupees every month and in 12 months or 14 months the entire balance was withdrawn by way of debiting the penalty charge for non-maintenance of the minimum balance. And after uh, two years when my friend went to the bank with his passbook which was showing at that time having a balance of 7000 rupees, the bank people told you don't have any money to draw because then this fellow was surprised. He asked what happened to my 7000 rupees. They said every month 750 rupees has been debited because you are keeping the minimum balance. You are not keeping the minimum balance. So the penalty is very very high and uh, uh, you know some people uh, unwittingly uh, they are paying this very large penal charges because they are not maintaining the monthly average balance. Please remember you must keep above the monthly average balance otherwise uh, the penalty will be very high. I have given here the penalty charges for a few banks. First is uh, ICICI bank in a, an urban area the minimum balance uh, is 10,000 rupees and the penalty is 350 rupees per month. HDFC bank same 10,000 rupees and the penalty is 350 rupees. Bank of Baroda the minimum balance is 1000 rupees and the penalty is 100. State Bank of India the minimum balance is 0 and there is no penalty. I am very happy to tell you State Bank of India is the only bank, only commercial bank that has done away with the minimum stipulation with effect from 2012. They have said you need not maintain. It's a very, very gracious of State Bank of India. While all other banks are charging the customers many times uh, unobtrusively, unknowingly, uh, uh, you know the customer does not know. The bank says I have put up the rule in, um, in my website. But the customer is not aware of it. A poor customer, especially the middle class and low middle class customers. I have seen so many customers losing money because they are not maintaining the minimum balance. 
Suppose you open an account with 15,000 rupees and draw 6,000 rupees, balance will only be 9,000 and every month 350 rupees will be debited. In two years, the entire uh, 9,000 rupees will be eaten away by way of this monthly non penalty charges for non maintenance of the monthly charges. So, the customer will go after two years thinking that he has got 9,000 rupees in the balance, uh, whereas the account balance will be zero. Fortunately, they have not further debited charges. Therefore, all of you should be aware this villain, there is a villain called monthly minimum average balance and it is your duty to keep it above. State Bank of India is the only bank which has done away with this, you know, villain. Villain has been thrown out and it is the only bank which has allowed them. There is no minimum in State Bank of India, in savings bank, you can maintain any amount. And minimum balance amount for public sector banks will approximately be one tenth of the private sector bank. As we have just now seen, ICICI bank was charging a monthly minimum balance of 10,000 rupees. For Bank of Baroda, it was only 1,000 rupees. And correspondingly, it will come down. For rural and semi-urban areas, it is only 500. And again, there is another nicety. Public sector banks are calculating quarterly average balance instead of monthly average balance. While private sector people are calculating monthly average minimum balance, most of the public sector banks are quarterly calculating quarterly average balance which is advantageous to the customer. For example, suppose in any quarter, suppose a few days in a quarter you don't have minimum monthly balance. In other days you have more, then when you calculate average it will be more and you will not be charged even the penalty of 1 by 10th which is the penalty which is being charged by private sector banks. Therefore, if you are having a savings bank account, you must know that you have to minimum maintain the minimum monthly average balance. It may be monthly or quarterly depending upon whether it is a private sector or a public sector. It is better for you to find out the rule. Ask for this rule from the bank in which you have opened the savings bank account. And they may ask you a question. What is MAB? It is monthly average balance. Or QAB, quarterly average balance. The Reserve Bank of India has a uh, has whined about this in its uh, one of its uh, bi-monthly policy in 2014. Banks should not take undue advantage of customer difficulty or inattention. Some people don't go to the bank. They keep a minimum balance uh, of 7,000, 8,000 rupees. They don't go to the bank for two years. After two or three years they go by which time the entire amount of 7,000 is eaten away by way of monthly minimum charges. That is what Reserve Bank of India is saying. Customer difficulty or inattention. Instead of levying penal charges for non-maintenance of minimum balance in ordinary savings bank accounts, banks should limit services available on such accounts to those available to basic savings bank deposit accounts. What Reserve Bank has said is, don't charge any penalty, but you rather limit some services. Like basic savings bank account. But uh, this advice has not been heeded so far by most of the uh, private sector banks and the monthly uh, average balance uh, stipulation continues to be even today. Then we shall see what are the other stipulations of Reserve Bank of India with regard to savings bank. The first and most important rule is that a savings bank account cannot be opened for any business entity or business person or business purposes. Savings is for the saving of the individuals. Savings bank account cannot be opened for partnership or limited companies or any business entity for that matter because they are prohibited from opening savings bank account. Savings bank and account can be opened only for individuals for their savings. But there are certain exemptions for this. For example, there are some governmental schemes which are very beneficial to the poor people. Whenever the money is received under those schemes, they are kept for some time till they are actually utilized. During that period, the government of India and Reserve Bank has given a specific exemption. These accounts, in these accounts, uh, the savings bank account, for these purposes, savings bank accounts can be opened and the interest is payable on this. On this. For example, Drawdown Area Program (DPAP), DRDA (District Rural Development Authority), self-help groups. For all these people, banks can, even though they are not individuals, 
banks can open savings bank account and pay interest because these are schemes which help poor and therefore reserve bank of india has given exemption normally you should remember no savings bank account can be opened for any business entity they may ask this question uh, xy is a limited company wants to open a savings bank account what can be done open the savings bank account open the account without paying interest blah blah for four options the correct option is you shall not open savings bank account for any business entity because it is a reserve bank of india stipulation